Uh, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I am playing World of Tanks. I'm going to show you a technique for crew training that you can use that will allow you to increase um, the rate that you train your crews. It's a little trick. It doesn't apply to everybody, but it's going to apply to some people. And the Stug here is one of the tanks that it will apply to, in my case. So I'm going to show you, for example, my TOG-2. My TOG-2 is a premium tank, which means that uh, the crew can come from any uh, heavy tank on the British line. And I'm sure you already know this, but there's one thing that a lot of people don't know. Let's look at my crew. You'll see that they're all the Churchill 7. That's a Churchill 7, Churchill 7. Uh, this guy's from the Churchill 7. He's from the Churchill 7, and he's from the TOG. I don't own the Churchill 7. Let's go look at the British line over here. <coughs> the Churchill 7 is right here. I finished playing it and I sold it. I finished playing it because the next tank in line is the Black Prince. And I can purchase the Black Prince and start playing um, that tank. However, I haven't purchased the Black Prince. I and I don't have the Churchill 7, but my crew in my TOG is still for the Churchill 7. Today, you get three times for each victory. What I could do is I could keep a Churchill 7 or buy a Churchill 7, and I could only play it to train the crew by getting the triple. I just completed a mission. I have to move on. So what I could do is keep the Churchill 7 and play it only on the days when I get the triple or the double for their first victory or even when they have the five times for the first victory. Now, you're going to say, well, that doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. I'm going to show you an, another example. I have the Super Pershing. This crew is from the T-20, the T-20, the T-20, the T-20, and the T-20. And the reason why is because I pulled them out of the T-20, which I still own. The T-34, let's look at their crew. I'm pretty sure it's all the T-32. Um, the low, I'm pretty sure it's all going to be the Tiger. Okay, so they all come from the Tiger. But you'll notice I've got other people. I've got the Yag Tiger Tank Destroyer. I've got a medium tank VK3002D, and I've got the Tank Destroyer Martyr 38T. I could go buy those tanks, even though they're low-tier tanks, and run them just to train that crew. Here's a good example. I own this tank destroyer. This is a German premium tank destroyer, and I own this tank destroyer, which is also a German premium tank destroyer. The crew from those tank destroyers is still from my Tier 5 tank, even though this is a Tier 7 and a Tier 8. I'm going to show you my tech tree for Germany. The Stug 3 is a tank that I stopped playing and I sold it, but I never bought the Chag Panzer. So what I could have done, and which I did do, is I actually repurchased the Stug 3 because I needed to complete some tank destroyer missions. What I could do, even though I don't want to play the tank anymore, and I finished, I researched everything, keep the tank or repurchase the tank and keep on using it to get those triples to increase my crew. Now let's see if I got another good example. The FCM 50T all comes from my AMX 45 which is obviously right next to it. My Matilda crew I know they're all going to be T44. My IS-6 they're going to be all IS-3 and, and STI because it shares from two different tanks. And of course the, uh, the KV-2 crew could also go into the IS-6. But let's look at what some of the other options are. I've got this guy, Tank Destroyer SU-85. Tank Destroyer SU-85. Tank Destroyer SU-85. Tank Destroyer SU-85. 78%. But I don't own a Tank Destroyer SU-85. As you can see, I used to own one. And I sold it. The SU-100 is the next tank. I never bought it. I lost interest. I said, you know what? 
It's a great tank and everything, but I'm not going to play this tank destroyer. I've got too many tanks. What I could do is I could repurchase this SU-85. Right now it's at a discount. It's 50% off. So actually right now if I buy this tank and sell it later, I'm going to make money. I'm sorry, I'm going to break even. <coughs> but the point is, just to get those triples for that crew, I could play this tank with that crew that's just sitting in my barracks. This SU-85 crew is never getting any gameplay. They're just sitting there. Let's see if I got any other crew members that are sitting around. No, Ch well, the Chinese, let's skip the Chinese. Let's look at the French. Do I have any French guys? Yes, I do. The AMX ELC BIS. You'll notice, though, that my AMX crew is already here. I've got more than one. Basically, what I did was I already took the crew from another tank and moved him into my ELC. Uh, so that's going to be one of the exceptions. Let's go back to the Jag Tiger. I've got the Martyr 38T, and I've got this light tank Panzer I. I could get that light tank Panzer I. Let's go to the tech tree and look up Germany. Let's find the light tank Panzer I. I'm guessing that that's it right there. It might not be. But let's say it's this tank. If that crew is from this tank, that means I could buy this real cheap. <coughs> Excuse me. And I could play this tank for the double victory, the triple victory, and train that crew because I've already got the crew for that. I've already got the crew for that tank. And they're just sitting there not doing anything. Same with the Martyr, the VK3002D. Let's look up the VK3002D. It's a higher tier tank. It is in. It is right here. It's a tier 7 tank, which I do not own. I bought the Indian Panzer. The VK3002D has five crew members. Indian Panzer has four crew members. So I've got a guy who is just lying around who came from this tank who gets no training ever. So that's one of the little tricks I learned. Basically, the whole point was I have this Yag Tiger, and I said, you know what? I'm going to buy a Stug, the Stug, to do some of the some of the missions. And the reason why is because the people I were platooning with didn't have a higher tier tank destroyer, so I had to purchase the Stug. But I already had the crew. And I've had this crew for over a year. Over a year and a half, this crew has been sitting in my account completely... Well, they've been used in my other tank destroyers. And the reason why they've been sitting there is because I never bought whatever came after the Stug. I never bought the Yag Panzer. Considering that there is a discount, it's actually a really good deal right now. Uh, the Stug, I, I bought it today at a 50% discount. When the price goes back to normal, I'm going to sell it, so I'm going to probably get it for the price that I paid for it. Uh, there is a chance that I might uh, upgrade. Like, here's another example. I could get this Dicker Max, have the Jag Tiger, and my E-25, have three German tank destroyers all running the same crew and the Stug. It would be four German tank destroyers all running the same crew. So that's one of the things that I learned today. You've got your barracks over here. And you'll notice that they have their percentages. Uh, a lot of them are 100%. But some of them, like this guy over here, he is from the T2 medium. This guy is from the M2 light. This one is uh, T2 medium, M2 light, the Covenanter. I've got crew members sitting around... This is another guy from the Covenanter, another one from the Covenanter. I've got three guys from the Covenanter. Let's go look at the Covenanter. We're going to go to the tech tree. We're going to go to Britain. Look up the Covenanter, which is right here. Four crew members, and I've already got at least three of them just sitting there in my barracks doing nothing. I could buy the Covenanter and use it to train those crew members for a later day. Um, obviously, I know the reason why I have these guys lying around. It's because when I got my Centurion, I took the crew from another tank. 
or, or perhaps when I did it with the Crusader. The reason why is because I only have a couple of British tanks. I only have three. <laughs> Excuse me. I only have three British tanks. I don't have one for every line, which means I've got guys in my barracks that are sitting around doing nothing. So, the point that I was making, if you have people in your barracks that aren't doing anything, and you can assemble a crew, like, I, I understand the T2 medium is a really low crew, but you can use these guys, put them in the tanks. You know, buy an extra tank to train your crew, sell the tank later. Uh, the Japanese, I don't have that. It's just something very interesting. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post it below.